because I've never looked back. I've never felt better. You're going to feel wonderful. You're going to love living, love your life. You're going to have more energy than you know what to do with. That's my goal for you today. And what I'd like you to do, one of the very first steps, is to clean out your environment. So make sure that you are getting rid of all the sugar that is hiding in your environment, if you will. This is the problem. Most people are addicted to sugar and they don't know why. They're not buying sugar on purpose all the time. They're just addicted to it. And the reason is, is because the food manufacturers are adding sugar to almost every product out there. That's right. You don't know what's in there. It's in products that you think are healthy, such as whole wheat bread. You're going to the store, you buy whole wheat bread, and two slices can raise your blood sugar as much as two tablespoons of sugar. That's right. You're buying yogurt, thinking it's healthy. Well, it's packed so full of sugar, it has as much sugar as a candy bar. So there you go, and it's in products that you wouldn't even believe, like even chicken broth. Because the food manufacturers know that sugar is like crack and that you're coming back for more. And this is the problem. You, as part of your job, is to let them know that you don't want that sugar in your life anymore. You don't want that inflammation, poor health, joint pain weight gain, etc., etc. right? So the thing to do, the very first thing to do is clean out your environment because that's where you get it. If it's easily accessible, then you're going to easily eat it. And at, this is a time I want you very aware. I want you to be very proactive. So that chunky monkey that's sitting in the freezer, right? The very back of the freezer, that has to go too. Check your pantry, your refrigerator, your cupboards, Make sure that your desk, you check your desk at work, your nightstand, your every, everywhere you might have sugar, make sure that you kick it to the curb because that's your mission right now. If you've been thinking about doing this for a while, if you are just ready for action, then this is a very important time of your life because I promise you, you will never look back. I know I didn't. It was one of the best things that I've ever done for my health. So I want that for you too. That's the first step. Okay. Now the next step is to, I want you to read the ingredient lists whenever you go shopping from now on. And this will really take just a couple times to get acquainted with the foods that have sugar in them. Once you know, you know to stay away from them because again, the food manufacturers, they're adding that sugar in there and you don't even know it. But when you see it, then you know you have control. And that's what we want. We want you to have control of your life and your health. Those are the first two steps. And now the next step is to add what I call the sugar freedom trifecta, right? So you have protein and healthy fat and slow carbs at every meal. That's the trifecta for sugar freedom. And the reason for this is, is that you want to balance your blood sugar. That's your goal and that's your mission because it's going to make it relatively easy. I'm not saying it's gonna be a peaches and cream. Okay, the first three days are going to be the toughest, but if you do it this way, it is going to make it very bearable for you where you're going to get a sugar craving and you're gonna go, okay, that's a sugar craving, but you know what? I don't have to stop everything I'm doing to go get sugar. And in fact, I'm creating optimized health. That's what you're going to be thinking. Make sure that you have those three components. So you have any type of protein on your plate, and this goes for every meal, all right? The trifecta at every meal. You have protein on your plate that can look like poultry, meat, fish, vegan sources. Any type of protein that suits you, any source for you is adequate. So make sure you have that on your plate. Then what I want you to have is a healthy fat. And that looks like avocados, it looks like nuts and seeds, wild fatty fish is excellent like wild salmon, rainbow trout, sardines, any fish that's fatty and deep sea, cold water fish is great. Then we have cooking oils. Now a lot of people are using inflammatory cooking oils and I really would love for you to swap those out for healthy fats, that a healthy fat like avocado oil to cook with coconut oil, we want macadamia nut oil. These are oils that are very good for you. And when you cook your food in them, 
you're going to add to that trifecta that's going to balance your blood sugar. So whole eggs are another source. Whole eggs are uh, very good for you and the yolk in particular, they're a really great source of protein, a really great source of healthy fat. The combination will stop sugar cravings for hours. That's right, and carbohydrate cravings. So research shows that even those who just have two eggs in the morning lose more weight, in fact, than those that don't. Eggs are a great source if you can eat them. And hey, Mark, how you doing? And thank you all for joining me. I mean, it's really nice that, to see your smiling faces here, so thank you. So you've got the healthy fat. Now the next part of the trifecta is slow carbs. Slow carbs are carbs that are released the sugar from these carbs and everything is used for glucose in the body. The, they're slow releasing carbs as opposed to fast releasing carbs. Okay, Fast releasing carbs are sugar, uh, refined carbohydrates like white flour, cakes, cookies, pretzels, chips, those kinds of foods, junk foods. Those are fast releasing carbs that really create wonky blood sugar. So when you eat these kind of carbs, your blood sugar skyrockets and then it falls super fast. When your blood sugar hits the ground, then what do you do? You go and search for that candy bar because you, not only is your brain wired for more sugar, but your chemistry is too. And that's what we want to uh, stop. We want to stop the addiction to sugar and we want to stop that desire that, and we want to blunt the inflammatory effects and the blood sugar effects. So the slow carbs are going to do it and that looks like we want quinoa, we want wild rice, we want brown rice. The, those are examples of slow carbs. We want sweet potatoes. You would think that because they're so sweet that they wouldn't be acceptable and they are. They're uh, fantastic. Hi Cindy. They're uh, fantastic to keep you satiated and sugar-free for hours, all right? Not desiring sugar as much. So look to acorn squash and butternut squash. These are all your best friends. Any type of veggie is considered a slow-releasing carb, and that's what I want for you. So that trifecta is really going to promote sugar freedom for you. When you follow these easy steps, and again, it doesn't need to be complicated. You don't need a book on it. Just take these few action steps and you can do it. Now, the next step is supplementation. There are three supplements that I really recommend. Hi, Carl, how are you? Good morning. That I recommend, and uh, the first one is chromium picolinate. Fantastic. It stops sugar cravings within three days for most people. I highly recommend that. I also recommend that you add alpha lipoic acid as well. That supplement is fabulous combined with chromium. And if you have diabetes, you should be on chromium as well. And by the way, check with your doctor in terms of these supplements. And the last supplement is magnesium. Magnesium is extremely important for our optimal health. Most people are deficient in it, and if you have an excess amount of sugar in your diet, then you are most likely magnesium deficient, and if you are overweight as well. So get that magnesium in, magnesium citrate. Okay. There are other bioavailable forms, and please message me if you would like the list of them. That is what I want you to do. I want you to make sure that you clean out your environment. I know it's hard, but you can do it. You can do this because again, this is going to be one of the most important steps that you take in your life with your health. As important as stopping smoking, for example. So we know now that sugar causes low level inflammation and if you're addicted to it, then you most likely have low level inflammation going on in your body. And low level inflammation is the core cause of most illness, disease, faster aging because sugar glycates within the body causing wrinkles and sagging skin and in the organs as well. It also causes weight gain. And we also know now that sugar has an effect on our brain health. We're looking at Alzheimer's now being associated with type 3 diabetes, they're calling it. Take care of your health by making sure that you clean up your environment, uh, making sure you start looking at the ingredient list for sugar because you're taking care of your future health, right? And then we want the trifecta 
but we want the protein, the healthy fat, and the slow carbs at every meal. That's every meal. And then we want the targeted supplements. So those are very important. I don't want you to have to get off track. And if you do, by any chance, happen to get off track, then I really want you to be okay with it, all right? Because I got off track myself. It's about being consistent. Just get right back on. Do it again. Get right back on. Make sure you take the supplements to really mitigate the effects of sugar withdrawal. The first three days are going to be challenging, but not that bad if you do it the way I'm talking about doing it. You can do it. I did it. My clients do it. And you can too. All right? So make sure you do that and let me know how you're doing. And if you have any tips at all, please leave them in the comments section. If you want more information on how to get off sugar and more information on sugar's effects, please go to my website at drlorishemek.com. And if you have any questions at all, any questions at all, please message me and I promise to get right back to you because as you know, I care about you and your health and I want you to know that I'm with you every step of the way, all right? So know that. In the meantime, have a wonderful weekend. And by the way, if you liked this video, you feel that somebody uh, would benefit from it, please like it and share it. That would be wonderful, okay? So I'll see you next week. And uh, in the meantime, have a wonderful weekend again and a wonderful weekend. See you later.